The institution used was Film 4 due to their successful dramatic films. Film 4 does not challenge the conventions of our film because our opening does not obtain a wide variety of action but only elements which does accommodate the drama. The title appears slowly, giving the idea that the events in the film that take place may be slow but unpredictable. The music is consecutive throughout the film opening because the voiceover helps to piece the narrative together without the music needed to make the audience aware of how they should feel. Unlike in an action film, the music changes various times to help the audience feel tense or as suspenseful at times. The silence before and after the film call helps to create tension and suspense of what is coming next fitting the conventions of action and drama. At first we looked at film's openings in order to create an opening that was successful and met the criteria of our chosen genres. For example, we researched Saving Private Ryan and The Thin Red Line. Looking at the film Iron Man 2, we picked up on a scene that we could incorporate with our own film opening with the available equipment. This went with the convention of action and drama as it showed the prestige military at water. These films facilitated us, us to understand the conventions of genres which helped us to recognise what types of conventions were needed to include in our film. We did this by handing out questionnaires that we made on SurveyMonkey. Doing this helped us to understand who our genres appealed to and who would enjoy our film opening. Not only did we look at films with the same or similar genres, but we also looked into other films so that we knew what we could possibly include and not to include. For example, we looked at films like Twilight, New Moon and The Midnight Garden of Good and Evil. These film films helped us to establish what we shouldn't have in our opening as it did not fit the required conventions. For example, slow paced shots that did not involve the story. However, we did pick up on some ideas for our own film. For example, from Twilight, we thought we could use a similar shot where the camera pans around the character Bella to show the progression in time. This challenged the conventions of action genre because the shot is slow paced rather than fast, going against the idea that the action is full of danger and violence. After we acknowledged our chosen genres, we then established our target audience around the action drama film so that we would, the film would appeal to audiences and would be recognisable. The social groups that we are aiming to represent are working class citizens. Film 4 is mostly watched by working class people because the, the company has a free channel on the television which is accessible but as many people are not able to afford the luxury of films bigger than bigger from bigger companies. Thus, Film 4 is a suitable company for our film as the social class in our film opening, opening and our audience is aimed at working class people. We think that we were successful in showing the social class through the costume, mise en scene, and location. The army has many soldiers from different social classes and backgrounds. The soldier is working class as we thought that ruling class soldiers have stereotypically a lot to come home to, family, good home and wealth to fall back on. Our main character, Tyler Simpson, is a working class soldier who has nothing real solid to fall back on. We made this clear through the idea that he lives in a small home with not a lot of furniture and possessions apart from that alcohol and cheap food portraying that the idea that many people rely on the army and as they believe the army is all they have due to lack of money and possessions. Upon researching various media institutions from Hollywood names to British institutions, we thought best to choose Film 4. We thought this because they are a British company that has become largely successful over the years and is a company that is being increasingly known. Therefore, this company seemed like the best company to produce the film due to their knowledge of making small budgeted films into successful ones that are seen globally. Film 4 is also known for producing dramatic films which fits into with our film, for example The Iron Lady and Slumdog Millionaire. Slumdog Millionaire is also a dramatic film, however it does contain scenes of action which could be similar to our own film because our own film also contains elements of action. The Iron Lady can be associated with our movie due to the dramatic genre as well as both films are based on true events that many people would like to know more about. Not only this, but The Iron Lady also gives an insight on events that are not seen in the eyes of the media. We also decided to create a production company, Sideman Productions. We did this as we thought that by creating a production company we could introduce a new company that focused on certain genres, for example action, war and drama. 
This was seen fit for our film opening as our hybrid needed a suitable company to produce our film. Cyber Productions helps to counterbalance the weight of an institution that mostly produces drama films as it gives the action genre of film some credit for the action that would be in the film. Thus our accredited company is used to balance out the difference. From the data that we collected, we would aim our film to be a mature audience with a mature outlook around the ages of 28 to 35. Even though we have the certification for the film to be a 15, we expected our audience to be from a mature range. This was due to the complex content as well as the context as the war is much more understandable and relatable to an audience who is aware of recent wars. Having the knowledge means that they would understand the storyline better than a younger audience who stereotypically do not watch the news. Additionally, the news reporters in the beginning of the opening sequences are well known to frequent news watchers, whereas younger audiences who do not watch the news as much may not be aware of who they are. The flashback is also another reason why a mature audience would be suitable as young adults are more used to scenes of extreme action, sex and violence, whereas our film does not make it appealing to young many audiences and could bring box office figures down. Although we have targeted our film to both sexes, we decided our main focus on gender would be males due to the stereotypical view that male audiences enjoy action more. At first, we thought to aim our film at female audience due to the drama, thinking that our film was hitting relatable everyday news. However, when we realised that during the whole film there would be an ample amount of violence, we decided that a male audience would fit our genre better. In order to attract an audience, we started the plot off straight away from the audience. This makes the history of the character quite clear to the audience, thus the audience is already aware of the background on the main character. We then followed this on with a voiceover of Tyler Simpson, which described some of his experiences in the army. This depic depicts to the audience that he was really involved in what he did. The past and present images plus the flashbacks help to give the audience a visual aid to the life of Tyler Simpson before the plot really kicks in so that they understand the character a fair amount before the narrative becomes complex. We also put together a focus group to give us feedback on what they thought about our film opening. We did this so that we could see if and how we attracted the audience and if this appealed to them. The focus group's feedback helped to see that our target audience was suitable. However, it did prove our prediction of not aiming for the audiences from ages 16 to 18 was wrong, as they felt overall it did not suit their tastes. Yeah, I did quite enjoy the film because it was a different idea to what we usually see at A-levels because it was a quite hard subject to make a film opening about. And you know, the usual bad horror or very bad comedy tries of A-levels. So I think it was a good good idea, which is why I enjoyed it. I really enjoy this film because I think it shows the reality of war because all of the other media right now is portraying war as fun and exciting and everyone should join but this film shows the reality of like the bad consequences the mental effects and it's not always good it's messy for life. I, th I think definitely that it could have been too paced so like your opening was slow it was that was good to set the mood but then it should have maybe gone a bit faster towards the end to just to change things up a bit maybe uh, you could have made like the ending of the opening a bit clearer it was better in understanding the guy with the gun was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, i think the scene when he's holding like alcohol in the living room is it doesn't even look very realistic i don't know i don't like that scene but the rest of Like I said, when you think action, you think fast paced, and you think more, more quicker, maybe cuts and more quick action. So I think to, to maybe obviously if you see the the whole film, yeah, you could say it's action. But with from the opening scene, we don't really get that sense of action. We do get a sense of more thriller and drama. So I think the drama aspect that you did well, but maybe the action maybe could have been worked better. Um, I think if it could film very well, the beginning was very panicky and the news, I really liked that, very interesting, yeah.
Yeah, I think it fits the genre well because, like, when it's action thrillers, like, you see the character, like, go from, like, a bad place and then get stronger, so it kind of has that sort of feeling. Um, I think it's quite a depressing film. Like, I think maybe people who have got any people at the wall or have lost someone, they would like to watch the film. But I think it can be a really good, like, British film because obviously the war is so happening right now. Yeah, I think I'll pay to watch this film. It's like, it's got a lot of excitement to it. Like, it's in my concern, so I think it'll be like a lot of excitement. And I was, like, want to learn more about the character. Yeah, I think definitely if you if you said that it's an action, so you continue on with the action later on in the film, then I definitely think that with a story like that as well, you, you get this idea of a sense of comeback for the character. So I think that with that idea, definitely I'd go watch it. Um, I think it applies to all people because obviously with war it can be connected to everyone. Like it connects family, friends, all ages. I think it's like pretty mainstream, like it's like there's so much action, it's, it's, like, it's about like a relevant thing, so like anyone who's interested in it. Uh, personally I feel that this film would be aimed towards an old like a uh, older teenager to an older audience, uh, simply because I think that the subject itself is quite it's a quite challenging subject and, and it's it's not something that would appeal to a much younger audience. So I'm thinking maybe sixteen, seventeen to, to older and also more from the trailer, a more general male audience as well, because it's quite a male dominated genre and also a very male dominated uh, film opening. So I think it definitely appeals to more male audiences. Over the duration of this film, we as a group gained a lot of valuable skills and technical abilities which aided us in creating our film. The majority of our film was done using a JVC handheld camera, however, we did have to revert to a flip camera when this was not available. Introduction of our film opening had a clean look with excellent picture quality, thus producing an opening with a much sharper image. This made the open appear very professional and well made. The flip camera, however, was harder to generate a clean image and required a lot of persistence to achieve an image which could have been easily sought from the JVC. Using the JVC camera, we learned how to zoom in and zoom out whilst making the image remain focused. It was also significantly easier to take shots and keep them focused. The flip camera worked well when in use, however, when using it for most shots, we did have to have it on a tripod. This group therefore learned to operate a tripod successfully and make necessary adjustments to it. For example, the military ceremony and the shot of the main character looking down at the photograph is unclear. When filming the opening shot, we had to utilise a dolly. With some practice, we gained the confidence and skill to operate it, as well with relative ease. Technologies such as Final Cut Pro were also very important in the creation of our film. Here we managed clips and shots we had taken and had them cut into position as well as incorporating a suitable transition. Final Cut Pro also allowed us to speed up certain clips and slow them down as well as adding music and voiceovers. Final Cut Pro was the link between video clips and a high, and a high quality finished film. We used it to cut out certain clips to a shorter length as well as move the video clips in different configurations. This process included a lot of trial and error in the initial stages, however over time we became really well suited to working with this technology. Other technologies that we used include the internet, which was predominantly for film research as well as audience feedback. Finally, when filming, lighting was taken into consideration in order to maximise the light available in our shot. We used various technologies including light, standards, light stands and spotlights. These took time to use well, as at the beginning it was obvious an external source of light was present. With practice, we managed to sort out these imperfections and thus produce a high quality film. Looking back on our opinion task, I believe that we have developed immensely with our film opening. This has been done through mise en scene as well as camera shots. For example, using costume helps to make our film realistic and sets the scene. This has changed from our preliminary task as the costume used looked amateurish and unprofessional. From the preliminary task, we were able to play around with shots and were adventurous with shots we used. One adventurous shot used in our film opening was the pan around the living room, where during our first task we used bland shots that were shown slow and not to be exciting. Looking back at our preliminary task, we thought that we could have used some of the shots. For example, the 180 degrees we have, could have replaced over the shoulder shot we used for Tyler Simpson looking down at the photograph in his hand to a 180 degrees shot to improve the clarity of the shot. The preliminary task helped greatly in how to angle shots and move the camera. On top of this, editing has helped immensely by using Final Cut Pro, which helped us to experiment with the technology and hang, get the hang of things. For example, at one point of the preliminary task, a match on the action shot had a jump cut in it, which means that we had failed this task. However, during the editing process, we paid close attention to this and had a successful match on action scene.